video, we'll see how to create a full sales funnel from scratch. So let's get started. All we need to do is choose create funnel and then give your funnel a name. So what it is that you're going to actually be promoting with this uh, sales funnel. So I'm going to be promoting a 30-day uh, boot camp course. So I'm going to say that I am uh, have my own fitness business. And so I'm promoting lots of free workout guides and also uh, paid you know, boot camp online courses where I can connect with my clients uh, on a daily basis and send them really exclusive content that I um, am going to have them purchase. And so once I give it a name, I need to create my funnel and I'm going to choose the full sales funnel, which means that I want to actually, you know, start from the process of getting new signups, nurturing them, and then promoting my actual course. And so then you need to, of course, say what it is that you want to sell. And so you'll need to actually have a get response store created. And so I've got a few stores already, but I'm going to just show you what it's like perhaps for the first time, if you're going to be uh, creating a store for the first time. And you can connect with an existing store. So if you already have an account and uh, have you know your products listed on any of these e-commerce platforms, you can integrate easily right from this screen and be able to automatically populate those products and to get response and promote them with your funnels, or just create a get response store uh, where you'd be able to start you know adding products that you want to be selling and uh, promoting uh, within the auto funnel. And so I'm just going to give my store a name. I'm going to call it Bootcamp because I'm going to be let's say eventually selling lots of different things related to my boot camp. The first thing's gonna be an online course, but then maybe I'll start selling some products like some you know, workout gear, some kind of branded things that I have. And so I'm just gonna call my store boot camp. And then I need to add, of course, products to my store. And so when you choose to add a product, you've got the options to choose what type of product I'm selling. So if it was you know, an ebook or an online course, a service or a physical product, you've got all these options here. And so in my case, it's going to be an online course. So something that I'm going to be sending an email to everyone after they've purchased this course with some very exclusive content and links to some, um, you know, videos that I have available exclusively for customers of mine. And so I'm going to give my course a title. So this is what is going to be populating in what we call a product box within, let's say, my autoresponders, my sales page. So this is what you want to make sure that uh, this is what your uh, potential customers will be seeing. So I'm going to call it my 30 day boot camp. And then we just give it a description. So just basically describing what's included in this product. And so I'm just giving a pretty short, uh, you know, description here. You can, of course, explain even uh, more what's going to be included. And then we need to give a price. So how much we're charging for this particular course. And then we need to upload a course image. And so this is gonna be what's seen uh, within your sales page and your autoresponder. And so you'll be able to uh, add that here, either from uploading a file from your computer or the files and images section that you already have in your GetResponse account. But I've got one on my computer that I'm gonna add. And it just asks you to adjust the size so it looks really great within the product box on your marketing assets. And then, of course, this is an important step, how we're actually going to be delivering this product to our customers. And so if you're going to copy them to a list in your GetResponse account, that's going to hold your course and deliver those lessons. Or if you want to redirect them to a URL uh, at the end of this uh, selling process. If you choose this option, you'll see in a moment when we get to the funnel wizard on the confirmation page, which is the page someone will see after they purchase. If you enter a URL here, on that confirmation page, automatically, they'll be presented with a button that will lead them to this URL. So if you have some external uh, URL or site that's actually holding this content that's gated only for your customers, you can input that here. But in my case, I've already created a list in my GetResponse account that I want people to be automatically added to whenever they purchase from this funnel. And so I've called it, I think I've called it Bootcamp Customers. And so you can choose to add them to an autoresponder cycle. So let's say you're going to uh, add this online course content uh, as autoresponders or maybe as you know, a marketing automation workflow that actually automatically will start sending these emails to people after they're added to this list after they purchase. So that's up to you if it's an autoresponder or let's say in my case, uh, I've set it up as an automation workflow. So I'll click save now and my product will be totally set up and ready to be used in my funnel. But after that, of course, we do choose our payment processor. And so how actually someone should be, you know, purchasing this course, PayPal, Stripe, 
You choose whichever one you want and then integrate right within the screen. It's very simple. So I'll go ahead and click save. And now we see, you know, basically I could call it a funnel wizard. And so all the steps that are included in our sales funnel to help us actually promote, you know, and get some new signups, nurture those new signups, and then actually promote and show our product, our online course, and then that confirmation I talked about. So what the page people see after they sign up for your, um, or purchase your product. And so we can choose the sign up page here because I want to start gathering email addresses that then I'll be, you know, promoting my course to. And so the first step I'm going to do is try to get some new signups and be able to offer them maybe like a little freebie to entice them to get, leave their email address. And you can browse through the uh, landing pages templates here, either by the kind of type of product that they're offering, or of course you can start from scratch. I'm of course remember doing this uh, fitness persona, so I've got a nice fitness program here but you can browse through and choose the template of your choice. I'll select this template. I'll give it a name. So I'm going to call it my free workout download. And then we'll just customize the landing page based on, you know, your own business and your own branding and colors. And so we can see there's a form that in this particular instance, it's promoting a free program. So just a free download uh, that we can kind of offer to entice people to leave their email address and kind of start to getting to know my brand a little bit, exactly who I am, what I want to do. And so you could just easily customize this. I won't do that in this video because, you know, we'll see some other options we have there. But you would just update the text, photos if you need to. If you wanted to add additional fields to the sign up form, you can totally do that as well. You also see this little block here is a uh, exit pop up that's automatically set up for you. So you can just double click on this and you'd be able to edit it a bit if you wanted. So you can see it's already got the same, you know, styling as the template does, but you can see the settings for how the pop up is actually configured and, you know, of course, edit the content however you would like. But this is just going to be an exit pop up that would automatically come up if someone's uh, looking to leave the page, but they haven't actually left their email address yet. And then there's the thank you page, which is what we call the default thank you page, which is the page that someone would see after they submit this form on, on the uh, sign up page. And so you could customize that to let people know a little bit more uh, about what's coming next for them. So for example, you know, that their subscription was successful and to check the inbox uh, for like the free uh, 30 day workout plan that we're promoting as our, as our, you know, let's say lead magnet. So we can say that this is customized for us. We can go to the next step. And then we just configure some settings. So the page title and description. So if, you know, this was going to be, uh, you know, showing up on search engines, what people would see. So you could give it a description here as well and edit the title if you want. And then the URL is important. Of course, if you have your own domain, your own website domain, and you want to actually be promoting uh, the URL of this signup page and other URLs within the sales funnel on your own domain, you need to go ahead and add that here. And then you check out these FAQ articles actually how to change that in your back end uh, of your website settings to be able to you know uh, use that domain for your get response landing page or you can use a get response subdomain but whichever domain and subdomain you're using uh, for your sign up page will automatically be used again in your subsequent URLs in your sales funnel so your sales page and your confirmation page would live under this dom the same uh, subdomain that you're using for the sign up page. So it's just something to keep in mind here for this first step. Then you just need to say on which page do you want someone to go to after they submit the form on this page. Now, remember I told you that the default thank you page is that uh, thank you page that was in the editor there that just says, thanks for signing up, check your email that you could customize. But you also have the choice to send people straight to your sales page or your order form for the product that you're promoting. So if after someone submits their email address, you actually want them to go ahead and see the product that you hope that they purchase, you can do that here. Or if you're not ready for that yet and you want them to go to that default thank you page you customize, you could choose that as well. So we'll click publish now. And we'll see that uh, 
our first step is done. So our sign up page is ready to go. This is where, for example, we could start sending traffic to to get some signups and we'll be monitoring the number of contacts who actually sign up via the forms on our site on that sign up page there. And so now we want to create an email. So the email could be, for example, that method that we use to deliver that free download we were promoting and then also potentially say, OK, now maybe you're ready to see my product. And so this is just the internal message name, but I can call it thanks for signing up. So the subject line and your standard uh, you know, settings here for your autoresponder, because this will be automatically sent when someone submits their email address in that form. And again, you can browse through the templates you have. You can see right here, uh, it brought the uh, template uh, set that I used in my first step here to the top to make it easy for me. And now we would just, again, customize this, update the logo or the uh, background image if we want to, uh, provide the, for example, the download URL uh, for that free guide that I was promoting in my uh, sign up page, you know. And then if I actually wanted to go ahead and start promoting the product, I could just update this text like, you know, enjoy your free download, check it out. But if you feel like you're ready for more, you're ready to actually uh, see more and have me, you know, stick with you day to day with a 30 day boot camp, we've automatically added this product box here. So you can see the way that I named my uh, product, my image, description and price are here. So you can see that here in the e-commerce step. If you uh, choose this area, you've got some additional options and that's called a product box. And there's also a button that would link automatically to your sales page. And so you don't have to change any links here. This is automatically hyperlinked to go to the sales page. So this is gonna be super easy for you. If you're not ready to go ahead and start promoting your product, you don't have to do that in this first message. You could do it in another message. And I'll show you in a moment how to add an autoresponder, additional autoresponder to this series if you wanted to. So you could delete this if you weren't ready to do that, or you could just use a button that links to the sales page. Totally up to you. But let's go to the next step. So our next step is done. You can see that's our sign up page, monitoring our contacts, monitoring the uh, you know number of clicks that would go to our sales page would be here. And then if you hover right here, you'll see the option to add another email. So this is how you can actually add kind of more of a series if you wanted, uh, you know, multiple emails before you actually, let's say, went to the sales page or you would want each of your autoresponders to go to the sales page, but you want to send a few emails. So you would just click add another email and then you'll see, you'll give it a name and you choose which day it should be sent. Because day zero is that first message that we're sending, which is the same day someone signed up. And then day one, for example, is the day after that. And so you could choose the intervals and set it up however you would like to, uh, to be able to, uh, you know, space out the messages or send them, you know, each day, completely up to you. I'll go ahead and leave because we don't have to uh, go through the series here. And so after that, after someone is getting the autoresponder, that's actually saying, okay, here's my, you know, amazing bootcamp that you should purchase. They would be going to our sales page. And so now we need to go ahead and set up our sales page where we're actually, you know, hoping to really convince people to purchase our product. And so again, you can browse through uh, the different templates you have available specific to the uh, product that's being sold. And again, though, it does bring my fitness template here to the front top for me to make it easy. And so we've got our sales page. So this would be my, you know, 30 day boot camp where I'm actually going to be talking a lot about, you know, why they should join my boot camp course. And so again, you'd be able to just customize this with your own logo, you know, your own name and headline of your course add a video if you wanted all of the customizing that you want to do but then you can see here automatically again it's got my product here which is very handy it's got this product box all ready to go um, to be able to click when people click here to actually join the course it would automatically be linking them to my order form where they actually would be uh, you know providing the payment details that we need to complete the purchase and so you can customize this however you would like to so, you know, it's got some nice content, some testimonials are great to add to your sales page to help convince people why they should join. You know, it's got multiple, a couple product boxes here to, you know, really convince them 
uh, as they're scrolling around to, to join. And something else to call your attention to right here, this is actually the um, drag and drop icon for the product box. And so if you wanted to add an additional product box to this page, you would just drag and drop this element here. There's also handy things like countdown timers. If your uh, offer is limited, only you know for a certain amount of time, you could drag and drop a product box, excuse me, of course, the uh, countdown timer element uh, to be able to count down to a certain number of days that you want them to you know, really be convinced to purchase before the offer runs out, things like this. But now something very important indeed, like I mentioned again, is when someone clicks to buy now, and you can change this text, of course. It says enroll now automatically for a course, but you can change it to say buy now, whatever you want. You can also from this step on the product box, you see the option to add and remove products. If you wanted to you know, add another product here, you could easily do that here or change the layout. So if you are promoting multiple products on one page, you can customize the layout uh, based on the columns being vertical or horizontal, however you like. And then whenever someone clicks this button automatically, you don't have to hyperlink anything, they would be going to the order form. And so you can customize which form fields are included. So you can see web form fields here. So if you don't need all of this uh, you know, data to be added as custom fields when someone signs up, you can totally edit that, but we do need every time uh, for sure is going to be the email address and then the actual product area and the order now button. Those are the minimal things. And also you may notice here that there's no credit card line. That's because I used PayPal as my payment processor. So whenever someone would be completing this information here, when they click order now, they'll be automatically redirected to PayPal to complete the purchase. But if you use Stripe or one of the other payment processors, there would be the credit card uh, field here. And so someone would be able to enter those uh, necessary uh, payment in, uh, you know, informations to be able to complete the purchase. That's something to keep in mind as well for PayPal. Automatically, your order form will not have a credit card uh, area, but if you choose the other payment processors, they will. So you need to make sure always that you at least leave an email address and this product area here, because this is where someone actually chooses what they're wanting to buy. And you can customize, of course, again, all of this uh, content here. It's good to recap what's gonna be included in their purchase, any additional um, testimonials you may have, any money back guarantees, you know, things like this. You can be customizing that as well. But the order form is, of course, very important, but fully customizable as well. We'll go to the next step. And then again, your SEO settings, so the page title and description, if it would be showing up you know, in the search engines, you can add that information. And then this is a bit different than we saw, remember, in our signup page. As I told you, it automatically configures the URL for you and taking that domain and subdomain uh, based on what you set up in your signup page. So remember, if this is something you want to have uh, be directed to your own website domain, you'd be setting that up in the signup page area. So we can click Publish. And so we are well on our way to finishing up our sales funnel. So we've got the sign up page, monitoring the contacts, our autoresponder that's promoting uh, our bootcamp course, and then our sales page where we hope people are going to be, you know, enticed to purchase our bootcamp course and then complete our order form. And now I want to draw your attention to something here, abandon order email. We automatically set up an abandon order email to go out if someone reaches your order form, but don't complete the purchase. And so that's going to be, you know, really helpful for you to help win back some of that uh, potentially lost revenue for someone who doesn't complete the purchase. But you can see if you hover right here, you have the option to uh, edit this email. So if you want to be able to edit the email uh, and what it says whenever it's winning back, uh, you know, trying to win back those people who abandoned the form, uh, the order form, you can do that right here as well. You can also preview this uh, message with this option as well to be able to see what that's looking like. Because hopefully you see now each of these steps have these little three icons that give you options to, you know, edit the page, manage the page, edit the, you know, form or the email, things like that. So you'll see that here as well. For example, in the sign up page, you can add another page. There's multiple entry points into the funnel if you would like as well. But as you can see, we have one more step, which is just the final option uh, to confirm their purchase and say thank you. So we're going to add a confirmation page. And again, our fitness program uh, template is right here on top, making it super easy for me to finish this up. 
So, you know, thanks for the purchase. We'll go to the next step. And we just need to let people know what's next here. So, you know, confirming that they've purchased this, the product name automatically though, will show the products that the customers have bought. Uh, because, you know, maybe I mentioned this a bit earlier that you can be promoting on your sales page or your autoresponders, many different products, many different offers, and maybe they just purchase one of them or they purchase a couple of them. So automatically we'll populate here, whatever in the end someone's purchased. Of course, if you're just promoting one product, uh, you know, it's simple. We would just be showing that product, but if you're promoting multiple products, people are selling, you know, are buying, you know, a combination of them or multiple, we would be showing, uh, you know, whatever they have purchased here automatically. And so it's just a good idea to let them know what's happening next. Uh, any you know further information that they need but remember I set up, set up my product so that after they purchase we will automatically be adding them to another email list but if I chose to actually have them see a URL that would be configured here as well it would automatically have a button that would lead to that URL where I'm hosting my uh, you know online content that's gated so I can just say this is customized we'll go to the next step And again, once one more time, our SEO settings here and the URL is again automatically configured based on my, you know, domain and subdomain that I chose for my signup page. And now you can see that my funnel is good to go, which is awesome. And I've got this uh, handy pop up that is promoting the social ads creator. So we, we have this uh, free mobile app available for all GetResponse customers to download and create uh, social media ads and banners to post on social media to help drive traffic and fill your funnel. And so you just enter the email, uh, phone number and we will actually send you a link to download the app. Again, it's free for all GetResponse customers. You can just use your uh, GetResponse login information to log in. And you can see it's automatically uh, showing you some previews for um, ads that you could create, your you know animated posts that would be, you know, have automatically my product name and the price and my product image. So this is really cool. So it's already been done for you. It's gonna help you be able to start driving some traffic uh, into your funnel. So go ahead and download the social ads creator. It's gonna help you out a lot. And you can start sending, for example, traffic to, you know, this URL to start filling your funnel. Or you could even just send them straight to your sales page if you wanted uh, to start completing purchases. But of course, it's a great idea to start getting people uh, familiar with your brand and maybe start filling your funnel from the top here. And so you can see we're going to be able to monitor things like our uh, completed orders, our success rate, our, you know, the revenue that we're bringing in, overall results right here, very handy. And then one more thing I'll show you here is just like that abandoned order email, we automatically send a confirmation email after their purchase has been completed. And you can, again, edit that email if you want to right here as well. Just choose edit email or preview it here. And then your funnel is fully set up, fully customized and ready to start earning you some money.